One year ago at this time, we were watching Hurricane Michael come through the southeast and do so much damage, billions of dollars in damage. It destroyed so many homes, created hardship for so many people living in those areas. So tonight, we wanted to take some time to look back at the powerful storm through the eyes of our 11 Alive crew who covered it extensively. It started off, you know, just being a tropical storm that was supposed to move into the panhandle. And then as we were tracking it all along, it then just exploded in strength. Yeah, it was the night before, we just thought it was gonna be a four. And we said, okay, this is gonna be, this is gonna be big. I remember waking up in the morning for my morning live shots and it had just grown to a category five and we're thinking, okay, here we go. It's not even safe to go outside. It is kind of an interesting feeling to think everybody else is leaving because this is going to be a catastrophic storm. But here we are staying. Our power here is still flickering. You just make sure you're in a safe spot. This is by far the worst conditions that we've had out here. We were uh, so outside, but we planned it ahead of time of where we were. We were surrounded by concrete. Thank goodness the hotel was safe for us. But after the storm was over, the National Guard came by and said, this place is condemned. Y'all have to get out. And we kept thinking, OK, if we drive just a little farther inland, 30 more miles, 50 more miles, it's got to get better, right? And it just never got better. I just remember driving through town and the amount of people who would come up to us and say, what do we do now? I have no idea. You know, their home was destroyed. They had to go find a shelter. They had to go find, you know, hopefully insurance will help them eventually rebuild. But that's, I mean, that's completely life changing. You have to completely rebuild. Um, it's sad. And it is still very sad along the Florida panhandle where they are still rebuilding and in southwest Georgia as well. Coming up in our next half hour, Matt Pearl will take us into southwest Georgia where they are having to get used to what they call a new normal because they don't think it will ever return to normal. Be sure and watch that at the bottom of the hour as well as on Sunday. We have a half hour special Sunday at six o'clock called Repair and Rebuild One Year After Michael. So we hope that you will turn in, tune in for that on Sunday.